A candy shop in Virginia is expanding and a photo contest is now open for those along Lake Superior. All of that and more as we take you around the Northland city by city. We start tonight in Hayward, Wisconsin, where they are in need of some volunteers. The Hayward Muskie Festival is officially one month away, and the Chamber is calling for volunteers to help with the fun-filled weekend. They need setup and takedown crews, people to help operate festival booths, and much more. Muskie Fest runs June 25th through the 27th, and we will have the volunteer sign-up sheet on our website. By the way, all volunteers will receive a free musky crew t-shirt next we head to virginia with a sweet expansion to a longtime favorite cane lakes homemade candies is expanding the expansion will be located right next door to the current shop on chestnut street the new location will feature an expanded sweets selection with extra licorice varieties trail mixes and while supplies last caramel corn the new shop will also have a candy museum historical advertisements from the iron range and directional markers to other local attractions the grand opening of the new space will be next tuesday june 1st and we'll stay in virginia because today range mental health center celebrated its 60th anniversary the nonprofit was started by just two people back in 1961 and today employs more than 160 people and offers nearly 15 mental health and substance use disorder services. It was the first community mental health center in Minnesota to provide specific services for those with serious and persistent mental illness. The cities of Virginia and Hibbing have proclaimed May 25th, 2021 as RMHC Day. And we wrap up tonight across the Great Lakes. Today, the Detroit District of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers announced that submissions are open in their sixth annual photo contest. They're looking for photos that highlight Corps of Engineers sites across the Great Lakes. The top 12 photos will then be chosen for the 2022 downloadable calendar. The deadline to enter is June 6th and voting will take place on the Detroit District Facebook page. The Sulox Visitors Center Association will also award the top three photographers a plaque featuring their photo. If there's something going on in your neighborhood that you think we should know about, send us an email and it might be featured as we go around the Northland city by city.